Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm fishing at Mallard Lake, which is a lake I've fished at before in one of my videos. When I got here, it was kind of windy, so I switched to a lipless crankbait, but now it's kind of calm. You see the water's kind of got a slight breeze to it, but it's not really um, what I would consider windy. So I was gonna switch to something a little bit more finesse, like maybe a fluke, and we'll see how we do with that. Yeah, that very first cast over there, just testing out the settings on the bait caster, it actually already got swiped at. So we'll see what we can do with this bait. Oh, guys, this bait, this little, or this big fluke, uh, just got hit by the same bass twice. I just watched the same bass cover this twice, put it in his mouth, and I set the hook. It was just too big for it. So I'm thinking I might need to downsize my bait a little bit because this is a pretty big, probably like a four inch fluke or something like that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need to downsize and hopefully I'll be able to catch some fish that way. So this may or may not have been a good idea, but I just cut the front of it off. Hopefully this doesn't affect the action, but we'll see what happens with that. Got him. Yes. Let's go. That was awesome right there. Oh my gosh. You guys should have seen that. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Right there is a healthy bass. There we go. Guys, even when you try out new baits in a highly pressured lake, sometimes it'll get it done. I love fishing jerk baits. I love finesse baits. This is those two combined pretty much. So, you know, fluke is really slowly becoming one of my favorite baits. We had some bites earlier from some smaller fish. This one is probably a pound, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, so finally one that was actually big enough to bite it. So that was super cool watching it strike the bait, how clear this water is. Get him back in the water here. Oh, wrong way, buddy. There he goes. <laughs>
And I was just about to switch to a smaller bait too. It looks like I'm gonna keep using this flute for a while. So the wind is picking up now. So I'm just trying to decide what I'm gonna switch to because I don't think the fluke is really gonna work as well on the wind. It's more of a finesse bait and kind of still water type of thing, at least from what I've seen. So the wind's dying down again, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna throw. I think I'm just gonna keep throwing the fluke, so let's keep doing that. Yep, I see this fish right here. Got him. Let's go. Oh. That's a smaller one, but another another fish on the fluke. There we go. There he goes. I did catch two bass on a fluke, and I had many other bites that I just didn't didn't catch them. But that just goes to show sometimes there are baits that you just never really use out there that are actually really good. The fluke is already becoming one of my favorite baits. It's fun to fish and it is weedless too, which is just a really good combination. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will have another video coming out this Sunday.